Hey, what's up, y'all? Daquan here with DaquanBowens.com, here to help musicians take their plan to the next level. And in this video, I wanna show you guys a really crazy passing chord over the 736 chord progression. I know the 736 chord progression is very popular in gospel, but I wanna show you guys a really cool way or different way, at least in my opinion, how to approach the 736, okay? So we're in the key of E flat major. Play them together, okay? I play this scale so I can get my hands on the same page and just reinforce that knowledge, right? The basics, the fundamentals, because that's the key to playing these advanced concepts is understanding the fundamentals, okay? So the song I played was Oh Lord, How Excellent. It's very, it's like a gospel standard. You know how you have jazz standards? This is a gospel standard, okay? So, you know, we go through the chord progression, um, you know, oh, how excellent, how excellent, how excellent. And all of these movements right here are standard, you know, classic gospel movements. And I have a course on my website about that. So go check that out. Join DB Music Academy. The link is in the description. All right. And then the next chord is, right? And what I'm doing is harmonizing the melody with diatonic chords, just using triads, okay? Right? Now I go to that six, Woo, suspended chord kind of thing, right? And then resolve to that diminished or that uh, C7 flat nine. Now I go to the two, right? Instead of playing a F minor 11, what I do is play an F minor 11 flat five so the five is c for this chord so it becomes b or c flat f a flat c flat e flat g b flat okay so just a little side note i will call this b a c flat because when you're spelling chords you want to spell them out properly f a c e flat g b if you notice uh those notes they skip every other letter in the alphabet so when you're building chords on tertian harmony you got to make sure that you're saying every other letter. Okay, so some type of F, some type of A, some type of C, some type of uh, E flat, some type of G, some type of B. Okay, so in this case, it would be F natural, A flat, C flat, right? Because we want to keep that consistent, right? E flat, G, B flat, okay? So this was a two chord, and I just played the, little, the melody line. Right? That's a little minor five, four movement uh, inversions. All right? And then I go to the one. Right? Now, here's the passing chord, right? So, what I'm doing is passing into the seven using the flat five. Okay? So, what I'm doing is playing a. a, a this chord is a G uh, seven sharp five, sharp nine. Okay? So what I'm doing, right, is playing, I'm actually adding the B. <laughs> this chord is dark. I love it. So this G, seven sharp five, sharp nine, up a half step, up a half step again. Mm. Now I'm on the A, uh, A seven sharp five, sharp nine. And this A is the flat five, right? Which goes to that seven, which is the five of the seven. Okay, I hope you guys will follow me, right? Mm. Right, and that's my seven chord. But instead of going straight to the seven, I'm gonna copy that same concept of just taking a chord and moving it up chromatically. And I'm gonna take that same chord, which is a minor 11 flat five, one of my favorite chords. Instead of starting on D, I'm gonna start from F sharp, I mean F natural. We played this chord already. So one thing you can do 
to create passing chords is take the landing chord or the target chord, which is the seventh in the key of E flat, which is D minor 11 with the flat five, right? And you take that chord and move it up, maybe a minor third up, right? And just bring it down half steps. Right? Instead of going straight there to the D, I did this. Ah. <laughs> right, so I broke up those half steps. So once I get to this minor one, I go to the flat seven, which is C sharp, and play that minor 11 flat five. So let's run it back a little bit. So now let's go back to this chord. I, I take the G out or the root out and just play that third, seven, sharp nine, sharp five. Right now, now I'm on my three. I'm thinking of a new key, which is G major. Wow. Uh, wow. So I'm thinking of the five of G. Now I'm playing in G major. Now I'm trying to get back to C minor or E flat major, right? D is the seven of E flat major, right? So if I'm already landing there, all the, the, the one of the key that I was originally in is right here, right? Now I'm landing on the chord tone for the six, right? Okay, this is some advanced stuff, right? So if you really wanna learn how to do uh, passing chords more in depth, Right and learn the foundation of that. I have a course called Passing Chord Concepts over at DB Music Academy. You want to go check that out. Uh, it's going to give you everything you need to be able to understand and play these things, right? Because passing chords is an advanced advanced concept, right? <clears throat> and also, if you want to learn certain voicings of these and other chords, right? Just voicings in general. Check out voicing techniques as well. Okay, this will give you all the tools and resources you need to be able to play like you hear right now, okay? So once we get to that G, right? <laughs> now I'm playing the C minor nine, right? Well, it's actually an 11, but I'm taking some of the extensions, the upper extensions and playing them in my right, right? So this grace note in the middle, these inner movements are key. All right, just roll it. Play it nice and slow, just like that. Go back and resolve it to the uh, minor, right? Okay, so that's the seven, three, six, right? With that passing chord, right? The funny thing is the seven, three, six is already looked at as a passing uh, chord progression, right? But what I did was took it a step further and was to add the flat five to it, right? Okay, so now if I didn't do all that, it would sound like this. Right? So all that space that we have in that song, you have different ways of doing it. And the key with passing chords is it really depends on how much space you have. You know, a lot of you guys ask me, oh, I would appreciate that. Or, or you say rather in the comments, I appreciate it if you add it to a song. It's not that simple because I focus on giving you guys concepts, right? that you can apply on your own. The key to really getting to this level is experimenting and creating your own voice. Man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Tell everybody how great this channel is. If you wanna learn more concepts like this, consider joining DB Music Academy and take advantage of the resource that we have. We have courses, MIDI files, PDFs, a community where you get access to me and others to really help you grow and become that better musician. The key to growing is not just content, it's community, it's the environment that you're in. See you guys soon, peace.